and welcome to our week number two Twitch live stream. Sorry to be a minute late here. It was uh, for some reason it was uh, not connecting to Twitch very smoothly. So hopefully everything is coming through just fine. Uh, hopefully you can all hear me and see me okay. If someone could let me know in the chat, that would be fantastic. I would appreciate it. it looks like there's a bunch of you in here with me, which I think is wonderful. Okay, let me just uh, make sure. I'm gonna, I want to say that was a yes, but okay, good. You're good. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, perfect. I'm glad everything is coming through just fine. Uh, hard to believe it, but we are in week two. A fourth of our class is done. Uh, it's almost June, right? Hard to imagine that next week is June. Uh, but what I want to do today, this should be um, quite a bit shorter than last week as we were going through everything for the class last week. What I want to do is just kind of give you a little bit of feedback on week number one, uh, make sure that you know where to find your grades and so, uh, and so on. And then uh, we'll talk about what we have going on this week, uh, some reminders and announcements. I will give you that Twitch extra credit question and then uh, end with a little bit of time for questions to see if you have any questions at all for me. So that is our plan. If at any point you have questions for me as we're going through, please feel free to uh, put them in the chat. I am monitoring it on my phone. So um, if you put it in there, hopefully I will be able to see it and answer. So um, let's go ahead and head over to Canvas together. Um, and so again, scrolling down, we are right here in week number two of our very short four week class that we have together. Uh, so let's take a quick look at a few things from last week, just a little bit of feedback, and then what we'll do is we'll move on uh, to what we have going on right now. But last week we were looking at chapters one, two, three, and four, kind of setting the stage and some uh, really, I think, interesting topics. Um, I want to talk just a little bit about the discussion. So for discussion number one, uh, for the most part, I saw a lot of wonderful things, right? A lot of you did a beautiful job talking about what you think of when you think of psychology, a lot of mentions of Freud and therapy and stuff like that. Um, a lot of uh, wonderful jobs talking about the subfields. The place where people tended to mess up just a little bit was on this last question or last bullet. Um, some people define nature and nurture a little incorrectly. So nature, we're talking about biology, hardwiring, genetics, what you're born with. Um, and nurture, we're talking about the environment and experiences and things that happen to you. And so I wanted you to kind of think about how they interact with each other. And uh, some people define nature as like trees and plants and things outside, which is true, but not necessarily in the scope um, of this class. I was also looking for a little bit more. Uh, if you lost a couple of points, uh, in general, it was for reasons like not giving me enough. And I did give each one of you feedback uh, with the rubric. And also, um, I typically wrote a comment um, at the very least, uh, nice job or great. Um, and then if you miss something, I try to give you a little bit of feedback. So make sure that you see the announcement that I sent out um, on how to find your grades and how to find your feedback so that you can continue to improve. But the vast majority of you did a beautiful job. The only other place that I saw people lose points was a few of you forgot to reply to a classmate. And I know it's only worth two points, but it's a very easy two points. So uh, try to make sure that you do that uh, for every single discussion. For discussion number two, um, Really, again, for the most part, really nicely done. This one, uh, you were looking at neurons and the brain. Uh, a lot of you did a great job of talking about what neurons are and describing the myth of the brain, the 10% myth. The point that people struggle with the most was number two. So I was looking at some point that you mentioned the idea of like electro electrochemical communication, that neurons communicate both electrically and chemically, that ion piece and the neurotransmitter piece. But again, a lot of you, a lot of A's, a lot of really nicely done um, posts. So continue to just really elaborate, show off your knowledge and understanding, and then don't forget to also reply to a classmate. Uh, same thing on exam number one, to be honest, a lot of you did fantastic. There were quite a few hundred percents um, or very high A's on the exam. A lot of you did a beautiful job, right? Um, the average amount of time was right around an hour, which tells me that most of you had plenty of time. Um, the average score was just shy of an A, which again tells me that a lot of you were prepared and studied and did a really strong job on this. What I really would like to encourage you to do is use week number one as a learning opportunity. So if you did really well on everything in week one, it clearly worked for you. Keep doing the same thing as we move into week number two. 
If you wish you had done a little bit better, this is a wonderful time to kind of mix things up, maybe study differently. If you didn't do the study guide for the exam, try doing it this time and see if that helps. You could always study a little bit at a time, like one chapter as you go. Uh, put a little more time into the discussions, whatever it might be, but try and kind of use it as a learning opportunity. And I am going to encourage you to reflect back and think about that with this little self-assessment that you have this week, uh, which I'll talk more about in just a moment. So um, that's a little bit about last week. Are there any kind of lingering questions or comments or anything from last week before we move on to this week? I'll wait just a minute to see um, if anyone has anything, feel free to put it in the chat. My cats are all so close by, but they won't come any closer. They know, they know if they come close, I'll grab them. <laughs> really? He just gave me this look like, nope, not happening. All right, uh, well, if you think of anything, please feel free to put it in the chat. Otherwise, I'm gonna move on to week number two and, um, and I'll leave um, some opportunity at the end for questions. So this week we move on to four more chapters, two more discussions, an exam, and then we also have a little self-assessment um, that I'm gonna have you do and I'll talk about. So the four chapters for this week are consciousness, learning, memory, and cognition, five, six, seven, and eight. And uh, I think these are really interesting topics, especially consciousness, looking at sleep and dreams and hypnosis and so on. Learning, really um, practically helpful as we talk about different types of conditioning. Memory, how to hold on to information. And then cognition with things like problem solving and, and so on. So as usual, you wanna do three things for each chapter, three, right? Number one, read the chapter in the ebook. Number two, read through the lecture that I have, watch any videos, uh, click on any links, anything that's in there. And then number three, watch the lecture video where I'm lecturing as if uh, you were taking this class with me in person. And that's a good one to consider taking notes to and so on. So you'll wanna do that for each of the four chapters. And that's probably your biggest uh, spender of time in this class is, is in all that reading and going through the lectures. You do have two discussions this week, like always. So let's take a look at those. Discussion number three. When you open this, you'll see my instructions at the top. They're always gonna be the same. So don't forget to watch my little um, introduction video, answer all the questions in depth, read through at least five of your classmates' responses and reply to one of them. Remember, it's worth 15 points altogether, 13 for your responses to my questions, and then two for your responses to appear. So this one here um, is a little bit about dreams, something that I think is really interesting. Uh, I have a little article right here that I'd like you to read about dream theories. Make sure you watch the video. I kind of went through some tips for how to remember your dreams in case that's something that you struggle to do. So you're going to read the article, watch the video, and then I want you to pick one dream that you had recently that you remember at least well enough um, and that you don't mind sharing. I will give one more caveat. Make sure it has nothing to do with me. If you had a dream about me for some reason, pick another one, <laughs> right? Uh, but briefly describe your dream. And then you're going to um, kind of explain your dream from a minimum of two of the different dream theories that we talked about in the book or in this little article. So how would that theory explain where the dream came from, what it means? Make sure that you describe the theory that you picked as well. That's really something that I'm looking to see that you can describe the theory and then connect it to your dream and kind of put those two pieces together. Then you're also going to talk a little bit about why you personally uh, think that we dream, right? Whether it's that they're random or they're meaningful or it depends, whatever your theory might be, uh, please feel free to share. Dreams are so interesting. I had a dream last night. It was like a very post-apocalyptic, end of the world kind of dream. And I'm like, where did that come from, right? Sometimes they feel random. Sometimes they feel meaningful. Uh, but we do all dream. We just sometimes struggle to remember them. So again, if you struggle with remembering your dreams, I did go through some tips in the video uh, that you might find to be helpful. The other discussion for this week, discussion number four, sorry, it booted me here. Discussion number four, when you open that, again, you'll find my instructions, my video. This one is about memory. And if you were taking this class with me in person, you would have to memorize this in person. You just have to talk about how you would do it, which is kind of lucky. Um, but in the video, I give you a 28 digit sequence of letters and numbers. And if you were to have to memorize that uh, for a matter of seconds or a matter of days, 
how would you go about doing that? I'm looking for you to tell me a different strategy for the seconds versus the days. I want you to describe the strategy that you would use. If you made a story, tell me the story, right? If you uh, put it to a song, what was the song, right? If you broke it into pieces, how did you do that? So I'm looking for you to share with me how you would hold on to that sequence if you had to remember it. Then you're going to describe in detail two specific strategies you could use to help you study for an exam. And then do you have any personal tips for memory that you would like to share? What are some ways that you hold on to information in your life um, and things that you do to help yourself? So don't forget to not only reply to my questions here, but also to a classmate to get those two points. As usual, you also have an exam this week. So you have exam number two. And the exams are not cumulative, so this exam is on chapters 5, 6, 7, and 8. Uh, and the study guide is right underneath it. So if you click on study guide number 2, it will bring up all of the terms and concepts you need to know for this test. So make sure that you know all of these terms about chapter 5, all of these on learning for chapter 6, memory, and cognition. So if it's on here, it will be on the exam. If it's not on here, you can uh, not worry about it and you can let it go. So just like the last chapter, or sorry, the last week, you'll be taking the exam on the ebook site. So if you click on exam two, it will remind you to have to go to the ebook site. You have the same amount of time, right? 75 minutes, one attempt. You can use your notes, you can use your book, you can use anything at your disposal. But just like with the last one, remember that if you're trying to look everything up, you are most definitely going to run out of time. So make sure that you're studying and preparing. Make sure that you have 75 minutes, good internet, a quiet place to take the test. Do all of those things to set yourself up for success. Again, if it were me, I would probably write the whole study guide out and have it in front of me. That would make me feel really confident. Uh, but if you did really good on the last exam, keep doing the same thing. Hopefully that will translate over to this week for you. You also have the extra credit and I'll post the recording, but there's one little thing this week that is different. And as I mentioned, I'd like you to use week one as a learning opportunity. And so to encourage that, I made this little five point self assessment. And please be honest with this. I'm not looking for you to tell me anything in particular. This is your chance to kind of reflect back on last week. And are you happy with what you're doing? Or is there anything that you wanna change? It's worth five points, there's no time limit, but please be honest, right? Think about your scores and everything from last week. Um, is there anything you want to change or keep the same? And this is your opportunity to do that, and I'm rewarding you uh, with a couple of points uh, for doing that. The other thing this week, as always, is um, I'll give you that extra credit question in a moment. I will post the recording of this in a little bit. It takes a little bit for me to download it and upload it and all of that, uh, but it will be posted here. And as usual, you do have a little checklist if you want to make sure that you've done everything. Um, I do have a couple of reminders for you before I give you that extra credit question. So let me go ahead and put those here in the chat. The first one I already typed up, so I'll put it in here. Uh, please make a, take a moment just to double check that you are subscribed if you're joining me live here on Twitch. Um, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you put your first and last name in the chat so I can mark you down. Uh, selfishly, I really appreciate those of you who did subscribe. It saves me so much time. So thank you, thank you so much uh, for those of you who figured that out. Um, I appreciate it. If you haven't done that yet, it's definitely not too late. If you are watching this later as a recording, uh, again, important to be subscribed if you would like to uh, get those extra credit points. Um, the other reminder I have for you, let me put this here in the chat. Our next Twitch live stream will be on Wednesday, June 5th at 1 o'clock p.m. So just like today, we will do uh, 1 o'clock next Wednesday uh, and we'll have uh, our normal live stream. Again, um, they'll be run about like 20, 30 minutes at this point uh, since we got that really long first one out of the way. Otherwise, let me give you the Twitch extra credit question and show you where you can answer that. This is the week number two. Twitch extra credit, um, and I typed it up so I can um, help myself out since I struggle to type and talk at the same time. So I'm going to put this in the chat and then we'll talk about it where you can find it and answer it. So the extra credit question for this week is I want you to watch a short clip and I'll show you where you can find it. Um, and in the clip called the attack of the quack, I want you to identify the US, 
UR, CS, and CR. And these are all things related to classical conditioning, which you're uh, looking at this week. So I want you to watch the clip and you're not defining these terms, you're identifying what they are in the clip. Right, and as I uh, mentioned to you in the lecture, you probably always wanna start with a conditioned stimulus. I think that's the easiest way to go, even though that's the hardest one to figure out. But uh, I will show you where you can find this clip and then where to answer it. So if you're on our page and you go to the unit on learning, right? So go to our lecture on learning. And then what you'll wanna do is go to the last page where it says application. And if you scroll down right here, here is the little video. You'll notice it's only a minute and a half. This one's the attack of the quack video. Um, little boy brushing his teeth. It's a wonderful prank. Um, you could totally do this on a sibling over the weekend if you wanted to just for fun. Um, but watch this little video right here. And then when you're done with it, you'll identify the unconditioned stimulus and unconditioned response and the conditioned stimulus and conditioned response. And when you're ready to answer that, you'll go back to week number two scroll down here and then you click on optional twitch extra credit number two right here and then up at the top click on start assignment and that brings up the little box where you can type your answer and when you're done you'll hit submit you get the confetti burst and what else balloons confetti and balloons today that that makes sense, right? Um, sometimes it's pizza, it's rockets, it's random, right? Uh, so this is your opportunity again to get five points. So if you maybe missed a couple of points on the exam or on one of the discussions, this would definitely help make up for that. Make sure that you are either subscribed or drop your first and last name in the chat so that I have it. Um, otherwise, what I will do, I think that's everything that I wanted to go over with you for week number two. Um, if you have any questions, I will hang out for a little while and you are welcome to ask me in the chat. If you don't have any questions, you are welcome to go. I hope you have a wonderful week, last week of May. I can't believe it's almost June. Uh, and when I see you next, it will be on Wednesday, June 5th at one o'clock. So um, again, if you have questions, please feel free to hang out. And if not, I will see you next week. I'm going to minimize my video just so I'm not staring at myself. Uh, but thank you all. Thank you as well. Thank you so many of you for um, joining me live. I'm happy to keep doing this uh, as long as people keep joining. So thank you. Thank you. I'm going to minimize this, but I, I will hang out for a little bit. If you do have any questions for me, oops, getting pop-ups here. Um, but thank you all again. Yeah, so if you have a question about a specific exam question, yeah, you could always go back on the ebook site and bring that question up. Um, and you could take a screenshot of it or you could just reference the number. But yeah, if you have a specific question about something that you missed or you're confused about, yeah, you are more than welcome to, uh, to email me about that. That's totally fine. You should be right if you go back to the ebook site and click on your grades on there. Um, it should show you attempt your attempt at the exam and that would allow you to click on it and you can see which ones you got right or got wrong. Um, remember that grade doesn't come over automatically to Canvas, so it is housed there as well. So if you go to the ebook site, you should be able to to find that. And someone said they just joined late. What you might need to do is go back and watch the recording now. We're actually wrapping up. It's only about like 20, 20 to 30 minutes from here on out. So you might want to go back and watch the recording uh, when we're all done. You too. You're welcome. Thank you too. still here if any of you have any questions like feel free to put them in the chat otherwise um, of course you can always email me if you think of something later as well
All right, I got a couple more minutes. If any of you think of anything, um, feel free to put it in the chat.